This is a redo of Create a New Pivot Table Using the Data Model from Chapter 7. We're going to start with a blank sheet. We're going to go to Insert Pivot Table. For this example, we want to use an external data source. So we're going to click Choose Connection. Then we're going to go to the Tables tab, and we'll see this workbook data model. We've got tables in our workbook data model. That's what we want to select click on, OK, on Open and then click on OK. You can see that now in our Pivot Table Fields box we have each of our tables, Employees, Locations, and Transactions, so we're ready to build a Pivot Table. Let's choose Employees and let's use Employee Number and then let's use our Transactions Table and look at the sales amount for each of our employees. You can see that our data is not accurate. We need to create a relationship in order to get our data to look correct. Let's use um, the transactions table with the sales rep and then our related table is going to be our employees table and we're going to use our employee number. Click on OK. And you can see that that has fixed the issue. We now want to highlight the sales column, right click format cells, and we want to change that to currency. Click OK. So we now have a pivot table that shows our employees and their sales amount. We'll go ahead and go to design report layout show in tabular form. Now you can see we have our employee number and our sum of sales.